In this video, we're going to talk about the prevention and treatment of osteoporosis in postmenopausal women. In order to help you remember the specifics better, we created a fun little story for you. This is the setting where the story will take place. It's a farm with a gate, the lawn, a barn, the WHO, and a disco tent. So here we go. Since this video is all about osteoporosis in postmenopausal women, let me introduce you to our main protagonist. Her name is Osteopur Rosie. She's an ostrich, and she's called that because she's osteopur, meaning poor in bone. And this guy is our second protagonist. Meet Osteo Rich, the ostrich. He's Rosie's man and rich in bone, so his bones are perfectly fine. Together, Rosie and Rich have 100 little ostrich kids. Look at that little fellow. Isn't he cute? He almost looks like the number 12. With his beak, his head, his neck, and his body. That's a funny coincidence because did you know that a little ostrich kid calls his mom 12 times a day? 12 times 100 equals 1200 calls a day. Remember, 1,200 calls means 1,200 milligrams of calcium a day. That's the dose of calcium that's recommended for the prevention of osteoporosis in postmenopausal women. As lovers do, osteoporosi and osteorich frequently go on dates. They like to call them vitamin dates. We're going to write vitamin date as in vitamin D8. Vitamin date. Well. They have 100 little kids, so they already had 100 vitamin dates. So remember, vitamin D8 times 100 equals 800 international units of vitamin D. That's what's recommended per day for the prevention of osteoporosis in these women. It's a little embarrassing to tell you what I'm going to tell you next. But hey, we're all grown-ups here. So as you can imagine, when they're going to go on a date, what are they going to do? Well, they're obviously going to have sexercise. So remember, exercise is recommended to postmenopausal women for the prevention of osteoporosis. After the sexercise, like many smokers do, Rosie likes to have a smoke. Rich is not happy about that at all. He always tells her, that's one of the reasons you have osteoporosis after all. So, refraining from smoking is recommended for the prevention of osteoporosis. So, we talked about the importance of calcium, vitamin D, doing exercise and stopping to smoke for the prevention of osteoporosis. But what if all of that doesn't help? Well, then we start treating our patients. So, for the remainder of this video, we're going to talk about whom to treat and what to treat them with. So this part over here was all about the prevention of osteoporosis in postmenopausal women. And this part over here is going to be about the treatment of osteoporosis in these patients. So whom should we treat? Well, we ask the WHO, or the WHO. And they tell us that they usually treat postmenopausal women with a past hip or vertebral fracture. If there's no history of fracture, they ask the BMD. You've heard me right, it's a B with an MD. He's a smart little fellow. Remember, BMD stands for Bone Mineral Density. The BMD loves to dance, so he will tell you that to treat or not to treat really depends on when you go to the disco. Disco stands for T score. If you go to the disco later than 2.30, meaning a T-score that exceeds minus 2.5, so minus 2.5 or lower, you should initiate treatment. If you go to the disco between 1 and half past 2, meaning a T-score between minus 1 and minus 2.5, you should always request a song from Frax Sinatra. He's a really good singer. Remember that Frax stands for the Fracture Risk Assessment Tool. Just Google Frax and you'll find an online calculator. So back to Frax Sinatra's song. It's called The Hip 3. It's a great song. 
When listening to Hip 3, you should always drink Twin Tea. That Twin Tea is really like an energy drink and it will keep you up and dancing all night. So remember, Hip 3 stands for a 10-year risk of fracturing the hip of 3% or greater as calculated with the FRAC score. Twin T stands for a 10-year risk of combined major osteoporotic fracture of 20% or greater. Twin T as in 20. So when the 10-year probability of hip fracture is 3% or greater, or the 10-year risk of combined major osteoporotic fracture is 20% or greater, treatment should be initiated in those patients with a T-score between minus 1 and minus 2.5. And what should they be treated with? Well, just remember that drones carry bones. We usually like to start our patients on alendronate or resedronate. You might also be interested in the fact that Ellen DeGeneres is a rising star who is sitting on a drone flying up, so rising up and up again. Ellen as in alendronate and rising star as in resedronate. And where's she flying to? She's flying up to the doorway of heaven, where she asks God, God, what should I do if patients don't tolerate oral drugs? And God says, I ban your soul. Ellen's confused and has no clue what God is talking about. Now, we know that God sometimes talks in riddles, so here's what he really wanted to say. When alendronate or resetronate don't work, use the intravenous drugs ibendronate or solendronate. Ibendronate as in I ban and solendronate as in soul. Okay, but that's way too confusing for Ellen, so she moans, Okay, I have enough. End of the show. Remember, enough stands for NOF or National Osteoporosis Foundation. What we've just learned are the NOF recommendations. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We've also created a handy memory sheet for you, summarizing the key information. You'll find the download link below this video. And please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're notified about any future videos and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and want to see more videos like it in the future. So take care and talk soon.